So the big game between Triabana under 11 and the Clarence Roos under 11 is underway here at Phil Giffard Oval on the beautiful east coast of Triabana. Andrew Silver Fox, Hopwood in the main commentary position with Martin Duffy. We'll cross to you in a minute, Duff, because the action has got underway and that's a little bit of a high tackle. And I think that might be uh, Young Tunks who's going to take that free kick. Goes forward for Triabana. Very nicely picked up. Well done by Turvey. Archie Turvey, a long raking kick, and they've got the ascendancy early on, have the mighty tribe on a ruse, working their way forward. That was Jacob Skeggs. I think he's doubled up from the under nines. It's great to see them. I mean, it was interesting, Duff, wasn't it? Because uh, all the under nines put their hand up to want to double up to go again in the under 11s. They're very, very keen up here in tribe Well, oh, they would have had about 35 players, and uh, of course... Uh Johnny, the coach, said, no, 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 we're only going to pick about three or four of you, so out they come. Yeah, no, fantastic here. So the Clarence Roos, they've made the journey up, and they're looking the goods. Of course, the coach there, Daniel Archer, does a mountain of work at the Clarence Footy Club. He's uh, got the boys today. He certainly has. So now it is the Roos who picked that up. That was uh, Frankham. Frankham goes in and under. And uh, it's going to be a free kick to the Roos. First of the ball. Now we're kicking that one down. They're just going down the line. Yep, Further afield gets the hands to it. That's young George Lasong there. Lasong. Yep, looks like I've got oh. the uh, numbers around the wrong way for you, Hoppy. Oh, there you go. Just looking there, Duff couldn't, couldn't find George. Anyway, well played by the Roos. They're just pushing that ball forward. It's uh, great to see the umpire too. Umpire Bluey's uh, yeah. gone round again, Duff. Yep. Now, we need to give our sponsors a bit of a plug just very quickly. Oh, sponsors. Uh, we've got a bit of a... Have a look at that beautiful glass of wine sitting in front of me here, Duff. We've got the Springvale Wines, courtesy of Timmy Lynn and Timmy. Yeah. Uh, hats off. Yeah. This is... That is a beautiful drop, Duff. It is. Oh, uh, drink responsibly. And uh, we're only just having one glass with our sandwiches that have been brought up here, Duff. So per it is quarter. just uh, absolutely fantastic. And uh, it is great to be up here in Tribuna as we've got the best view in the house looking across the bay at uh, Mariah Island and further afield to the Freycinet, just a further up there, Duff, and down south it's uh, clear, it's beautiful, and uh, what a beautiful part of Tasmania we are in no, they, today. They call it God's country up here. Andrew, now, who's your pick for this big match? Oh, it's going to be a close encounter, Duff. I think weight of numbers and uh, certainly the uh, big crowd that are here to support Triabana, that just might get them over the line. Yeah, I think they'd probably go into this uh, just slight favourites. But uh, we know Clarence very well drilled down there at um, Blunston Arena. So that was Turvey, who had the, the last roll of the dice, couldn't get it out. So uh, umpire throws it aloft. Well done by Pickett. Pickett is uh, just uh, manhandled slightly, but he's good enough to put that second effort in. And that's the sort of thing you love to see as Bosworth gets it. Bosworth hands it out, uh, trying to get to the advantage of one of his teammates. But backing up there is Bella Blythe for Tribuna. She tried to put the smother on, but that ball is kept hard and low. And uh, there's young Harvey Aloms, who, again, uh, there's another under nine who's come up, Duff, but uh, it's really ha hard to hold him back. Uh, the Aloms oh. family, of course, uh, uh, Supercoach John uh, is uh, the under 11s. And, of course, uh, the backbone of the Tribunion Junior Footy Club, Narissa. Yes. Oh, Mum's out the back there. So I think she's the team manager in this game. Oh, team everything, Duff. Oh, and that's a this. lovely mark taken uh, by the Roos. Leading out was uh, Brendan Cook. And Cook took that one on his chest and now we'll be directly in front, only metres out. You'd back Cook from there, Duff. Yeah, no problems for Cookie there. He's put it through, has young Brendan Cook, for the first goal of the day as we check with the Jackson Motor Car Company scoreboard, Clarence, one goal straight six. Tribuna yet to score, and here we are in the Mood Food replay, Duff. Yep, so the ball just came out to Cook. He just got a couple of metres there, didn't he? Good when vertical he leap. Great vertical leap. And he went back and thought, you ripper, I'm going to have the first shot on goal here. Yeah, you'd like it, wouldn't you, your first set shot? He didn't panic. That's what I like. Just took his time, head over the ball. Oh, look at that uh, kicking goal. straight through the ball there as well, Duff. I like to see a young kiddie with his his head 
Roberts facing where he's going to kick. The shoulders square up, hands low, and kicking through the ball. So hats off to you as uh, Clarence uh, picked that one up again. Very swiftly done by Isaac oh. Dixon. Uh, Dixon gets it back again to Cook, and we know Cook loves the goal, but this time he didn't quite get the purchase on it, Duff, and just towed it, and it's gone out of bounds, but deep into the attacking area of the visiting Roos. And look at that mark by Cookie. He is on fire today. He's one player, the try of going to have to match up on and play him very, very close. He is. Yeah, he certainly is. As that ball has gone through for the minor score, Duff. Here in the early stages, five minutes gone on the big clash. It is under 11 football, try of uh, There in the uh, burgundy and white. Uh, kicking to the left of screen. And Hoppy, we've got a few boys that have gone over and playing in the first quarter for the Clarence Roos. Just to make up the numbers, we've got uh, number 60, Thomas Alomes, and looking further up, 37, Connor Bergert, Berghart, I should say, playing for the Clarence Roos in the first quarter. Excellent, and it's it's lovely to see that, and which, which happened as well uh, in the previous game. And uh, it's great hats off uh, to our coaches and uh, everyone for doing that sort of thing. It's all about participation here, Duff, isn't treating the kiddies the right way to go about their football. That comes down. Oh, that's a terrific mark as uh, Jasmine Pike came out, and she was just beaten to the punch on that one by her more able Rue. And a nice mark taken by Lewis Lynn. Lynn. Oh, I like to see this stuff. Line. Line it is. Line, is it? Yes. L-I-N-E. Well, L-Y, but just like L-I-N-E. All right. Well, Line, I, he tried to create some space. And uh, taking off was Brendan Cook there, but uh, well picked up by Tribuna in the defensive uh, zone as they're tackling very, very hard. That was uh, Blythe again, assisted by Quinn. Now it is an opportunity for the Roos to pick up through the very speedy Dixon. Dixon kicks it down, but uh, didn't quite get the accuracy that he wanted. And Harvey Alomes it takes a very nice mark at the true centre-half back position. Tell you what, you want to look out for number 12, Isaac Dixon today. He's another fleet-footed Roo. Very, very sharp on that left foot. Very, very good player in the under-11 competition in the STJFL. What about the no-beg-your-pardons by young Mia Graham there, Duff? Didn't she go in? And here she is again. She is mixing it as these uh, girls from... Uh, Tribe on Ara, just like Bella Blythe there, fantastic to see, is running hard at the ball was Desmond Pickett. Pickett goes back in to do a shepherd, allows Blythe to pick that one up. Blythe goes towards the true centre-half forward position, unlucky bounce there for the Roos. They're good to butter up, try and handball to keep the game going as Tribuna now go forward. They're inside their 50 arc, but arching the back and going back is Frankham. Frankham just gets his toe to the ball before acceptances. Well done by Clarence as Robottom goes further afield, but holding uh, firm there, Duff, is Desmond Pickett. It's just a little replay, yeah, some strong work there by that young lady. Yeah, it's, it was great work by Mia Graham, wasn't it, Duff? So now, the ball is there by, that's Lee Song, two Lee Songs playing, George and Noah. It's out on that outer side. Great facility that uh, we've got here, Duff, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we've got the uh, new timekeeper's box, and of course the new change rooms over the other side of the ground. And the whisper is that the new scoreboard's on the way too, up here. Oh, and I think they're talking about, aren't they, getting that computerised one, Duff, so they can, you know, put the sponsors up. Could be people like, say, Springvale Wines, mm. something like that. They yeah. can, uh, which is fantastic as well, throw isn't in, it? Throw in a few more dollars, but get better reward for their uh, their hard-earned dollars. Just quickly, Duff, I know we're diverting, but those scoreboards are fantastic because you can actually plug your computer in mm. and you can put, say, the footage from Duff TV oh, on the big that. screen while the kiddies are running around and they can see what they're doing. Having said that, there's the old scoreboard over there. I, I mean, you know. Oh, you could get an uh, outdoor projector on that one, Duff. <laughs> Maybe that's the way to go. <laughs> State of the art up here at Tribunner. Oh, no, it's great. Good punch out there by uh, Tribunner as they go forward again. They've uh, had good possession of the ball. Coming out there is Chivers. Chivers leading to it. And uh, given that Tribunner had last purchase on the ball, what's going to happen here, Duff? It might be a ball up. Umpire Blue is called for it. And up she will go. Good crowd in. Yeah, no, good crowd. Looks like umpire Blue, he's, this is the first time he's had his shorts on in a little while. Very white legs there, isn't he? Oh, yeah, well, so, you've got to be uh, sun safe these days, Duff. Yeah, he, yeah. Good, I, good. I saw him preparing for the game and he put your 30 plus on. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's got your 30 plus on. So now it is Tribunner going back. 
Really, probably too far out. Oh, here's a good option. Go that shorter pass, but chipping in was Clarence with great courage and uh, fortitude. That was uh, the great Luke Hodge there, barging their way through there, Duff. And it's going to be a free kick, I think might be for holding the ball. Um, and it's going to be, might be Pickett again, I think. A bit too far out, I'd say, but he's not a bad kick. Have ball, look at that. He's really kicked it a long, long way, bouncing toward the goal. The hands go up and it's all clear, Duff. What about that? I think that was young Desmond Pickett who looks absolutely cock-a-hoot from kicking that one from way downtown. He almost kicked that one from Orford. <laughs> Have a look at that, Duff. It's gone high, long, straight, all clear. Magnificent goal by Desmond Pickett. And great work by that umpire up there. We'll get a name on that gentleman. Not sure who it is in the goals, but doing a great job. It's great how the dads come out and get involved, isn't it? Oh, we want to see your thumbs go up early, Duff. Sometimes they acquiesce slightly and sort of dilly-dally, but not that gentleman. He had the two fingers out. More than happy we knew what it was. We could call it early, and that's exactly what we go. That was Archie Sealy for Clarence. A very, very nice vertical leap in the centre of the ground to cry and get the tap out, but uh, Turvey for Tribunner, gets that ball moving forward, uh, goes towards Mitchell Free, Free, and another magnificent tackle, Duff. Uh, Mia Graham is a tackling machine. She is. Look at this. Have a look at her here. As soon as it was picked up by Chivers, uh, look at that. Graham just brought the big fella to the ground and a nice tackle uh, and a good mark here by Hodge. Hodge driving that one out towards the uh, Halfback flank, do you reckon uh, mum and dad are Hawthorne supporters? I was just going to say, he's what, 10 or 11? Now, Hodge, of course, was playing back in the day when he would have been born. Well, I reckon, they I might, reckon they're Hawks. Yeah, we'll just call him Luke. Yeah. Just call him Luke. Just, just in case Luke goes on to have a nice AFL career. Yeah. What a splendid player he's been. He has been a splendid player. The Luke variety now playing with Brisbane. And I'll tell you what, this young man here is creating his own path uh, with a fantastic tackle. It comes over the back and just couldn't quite uh, get the handle on it, have Tribunner. It's ever so close to the line. But how about that for great defensive work there by the Roos, as we can hear some of the thousands Thousands of the cars that have come in honking the horns to say, well done, Ruse, hats off, as they defended so stoutly there and resolute. Here they are now, half-back flank, going further afield. Up go uh, the big Dukes of Georgie Lee Song. He couldn't quite bring that one in, but uh, bought it front and centre for the runners. Gets it out now, back into that open spaces of Tribunner, arching the back and going the low worm burner. It goes towards the leading... We're saying there, uh, line or Lynn? Line. Yeah, line. All right. He done a done a nice job there, did young line. And then now you can see the pressure being applied by the forwards of uh, Tribunner. And it is going to be a bounce up. Oh, it's just been, I've just been told it's uh, Timmy Line in the goals down there. Of course, the, uh, the owner of Springvale Wines has kindly donated uh, a little bit of doula so we can, we can come up here and film our game here today. Oh, that's fantastic. And thanks very much, Timmy. And uh, look at this. Have a look at that. Oh, on his own some was young Jacob Skeggs. And Skeggs, he couldn't believe that he'd been given that much territory. And he has put that one through, Duff. Well, he's the excitement machine, isn't he, Andrew? We saw him in the under nines. What about the pass? Oh, the pass was great, wasn't it? Turvy. And didn't muck around, Duff. Uh, young Skeggs, he put it through. And, and have a look at the determination on the old boat race as he came out there, Duff. Uh, that he's, he's a team lifter. He is. Oh, they, they loved him in the under nines and uh, certainly in the under 11. And you remember in the under nines, Hoppy, they were very flat. Oh. Tribunner in that first quarter. The runner came out and said, come on, boys, let's lift. And who led the way? Oh. Skeggs. He's a so, champion. I think that might have been uh, Cullen going forward, looking for Bosworth. Couldn't quite bring it in, but did a good job to bring it to the ground. Let's see what the defensive work now of Tribunner is up against. They've got to defend stoutly. Ruse have the ascendancy at this stage. They get the handball out. That's the goal kicker in Cook, and you know he's going to turn around and have another crack at the big goals. Uh, he favoured the right side last time, and he has favoured that same side again, and it's uh, gone through for a minor score there, Duff.
Yes, so the Clarence Ruse 1 2 8. Tribun are very accurate in front of goals. Two straight 12 coming up to quarter time in this big clash here at the Phil Giffard Arena. Yeah, Phil Giffard Arena in. Uh, that's such a, a mountain of work, doesn't he, Duff, up in this community? Yeah. Of course, he's now, I think, president of the ODFA as well as what, Tribunna as well. Uh, recently retired president of the ODFA. The right, guy, okay. He's uh, what, decided to go fishing a bit, Duff. Oh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Yeah, he must be getting on, though, young Phil. Oh, gee, he's hanging on, Duff. He's only the old kid's age. Is he? Oh. Only a young man. Ball goes up and a very, very nice effort to mark there by Pierce. Can't quite bring it in, but look at him buttering up. Oh, going to second effort. That's a, that's a dangerous handball, but uh, the siren has sounded for quarter time, which sees a very accurate try of Two goals straight, 12 to Clarence. One goal, two, eight goal kickers for the Roos. It is uh, Brendan Cook for Clarence. And what have we got here? Duff, I think, Skeggs and Pickett for try -bunner. So uh, I think we should just enjoy another glass of wine here, Duff. Of course, go get yeah. something to eat and we're back with the second quarter in just a second. So we are getting ready now for the second quarter. First quarter, very, very entertaining game here with Triabunner just uh, with their nose in front, but general play very, very even as the Ruse picked that ball up through the agency of Cook, who was very dynamic early on. Lovely handball from Weston with the give and go. That's what you like to see with young kiddies using the wrong side of their body. It did that uh, with such deft touch. Yeah. Going back now is Dixon, who we uh, were very much aware of oh, the speed yeah. and agility that yeah. he offers, Duff. Yeah, well, when Tribunner took on the ruse today, they were talking about Dixon and that fleet foot that he's got and that long, raking left foot. Mm. Very dangerous player. Oh, look at the big fella coming out here. Yeah, oh, that's... A big one grabber. That's uh, Thomas Alimes, isn't it, yeah. Duff? Gee, that was a really lovely grab, wasn't it? Yeah, and he's got a beautiful shoe on him too. Great kick of the footy. So that was Dixon who was back in the middle of the ground, gets it out towards Chivers. Chivers looking further afield towards Bosworth, who can't pick it up, but he's assisted by Lee Song. Lee Song turns around. Here go the Roos. They've got a big opportunity as they go further afield. I think that might have been Hodge back over to Becker, and Becker puts it right in, but I think it's just gone over there, Duff. Uh, before Frankham can get his dukes on it, and it's going to be a free kick coming back to try a bunner. Hey, look at this big one grabber here. That's what you love to see, don't uh, you? Just the dukes, like a big vice around there. That ball wasn't going to get away. In fact, if I was the umpire, Duff, I'd check the pressure. <laughs> No, a big clamp's gone on oh, it, and there's a goal out of absolutely nothing. Let's have a look at the Mood Food replay on that one, Duff. That surprised us. That was right in the corner. It seems somewhat uh, innocuous as bending down, picking up the ball. Ever the opportunist was Lucas Bosworth, and Bosworth has put it through, and the visiting ruse have gone in front, Duff. Well... 2-2-14 two, two, to 2 straight 12. It's a really good little match here, but nah, just what the Roos needed. Because Tribana were getting on a bit of a roll there towards the end of that second quarter. Um, but of course, it's not all about winning, though. Is it, Andrew? It's all about just having uh, a bit of fun out no, there. No, it's uh, absolutely, it's about participation. There is no doubt about that. But compete as hard as you can. That's what you want to see, Duff. Everyone doing the best that they possibly can, as Mia Graham uh, she just barges her way through. Archie Turvey, very fleet of foot. Oh, might have been taken a little bit uh, high on that particular occasion as Lukey Hodge came in and put the coat hanger on. But Graham didn't shirk any issues as she goes back in towards the centre of the ground. And uh, Lewis Lyon went up, Duff. And what about young Lyon then? What a great grab. Well, we know that his dad was a good footballer. And, of course, they're out there at Springvale. They kick the football every night. After, they they, they got the work. goals lined up between the vines, haven't they, Duff? <laughs> oh, no, no, you don't kick the ball out near the vines. You've got the, the centre ones. That's that's your Pino, which is the goals. And then the wider ones, your points. Isn't that your Riesling? <laughs> I think that's how it rolls, Duff. What, what have we got in front of us here? That <laughs> oh, that's your Pinot Noir, uh, your I, I 2016. Can, I can never tell the difference. All I know is it's good quality. It oh, nice. just uh, have a look at the nose on that, Duff. Beautiful. Just silky oh, as it yes. goes down the back of the old throat. Yep. Of course, we have to drink very, very responsibly, but uh, 
Wow, this uh, Springvale wine, Seth. A beautiful wine, Duff. There is no doubt about that as Desi Pickett uh, gets it up. Although you'd have to question, wouldn't you, Duff? I noticed there instead of the Gatorade, they had some Pinot at uh, quarter time. No, that's only a joke. We didn't do that. No, We're just saying it, Duff. On. Be careful, Andrew. <laughs> no, oh, nice mark here. by Hodge. Hodge gets it further afield to Becker. And Becker drives the ruse forward. That was a very, very nice play. Uh, Mitchell Free and uh, Tunks have gone across and assisted uh, Clarence with those white Guernsey stuff. And did you see Hodge back there directing traffic? Look at this. You watch, you watch this. Just like Luke Hodge for the Brisbane team. Gee, that's good footy, isn't it, oh, Duff? Just great awareness of telling his team oh, where to go. Look at that line went up uh, pretty high, and young Lewis line couldn't quite bring it down. Oh, oh dear. And it comes oh, over the back and a little bit loose on the checking has allowed Fergus Frankham to pick that one up and slot it through for a goal, Duff. And uh, your visiting Clarence Ruse are on fire in the second stanza. Yeah, no, they're just a little bit of loose checking back there. Just need to get behind on the defensive side of the play, I think, the Triabana players. And that's two relatively easy goals now to the Clarence Roos. They're kicking away in this second quarter. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see uh, if the runner goes out, what instructions they get from Johnny Alomes, no, super coach Alomes. He's been very quiet so far, John. You can usually hear that big booming voice, but he's just uh, very measured at the moment. Yeah, no, good to see. A uh, very thoughtful coach as Cook went to handball. Now's an opportunity. Tunks is down there, just overran it on that particular occasion, but backing up is Pierce. Oh, look at that tackle that uh, Lincoln Pierce as they went over the old onion there, Duff, but uh, wasn't going to let the opposition get away, and it's going to be a ball up uh, deep into attack for Triabunna. They go up, comes out towards the home ruse. There's Graham, she'll go the argy bargy as she does very nicely and effectively. Can't take a mark, but going up there was Chivers trying to spoil on the back line. Now it's towards that half-back flank. Goes out towards the line. They're trying to keep that in at all cost try, but I want to keep it alive. And uh, Clarence are trying to keep the ball dead as the umpire, quite rightly, Duff, is trying to guide them, create some space. Yeah, so we have a second umpire out there on the under-11s. Well, they it's move it so quickly, Duff. Well, it's the big full uh, length of the ground here for these big boys. Oh, great lockdown tackle there by the Clarence player, and we're going to see a ball up. Gee, that was good, wasn't it, Duff? Uh, young Skeggsy, who oh. they know now is a danger man. They uh, certainly didn't give him an inch. And uh, now that ball comes out. Cook just hovering around the back. Oh, you're in trouble now. Somebody's good enough to... Oh, they can't quite back out. And that's that applied pressure from some of the fleet-footed brigade that are up here at Triabunna, Duff. The young Skeggsy trying to get his way out, but couldn't do so. And uh, good pressure there by Clarence. Oh, oh. That was great uh, work at the stoppage there, Duff, and it comes out towards Hodge. Hodge, we know, is bends down beautifully and picks up. And have a look oh, at that big oh, kick, Duff. That's mate. gone 35 metres towards Bosworth. Bosworth comes inside, and here's a really good chance uh, for the Roos through Becker. Becker goes towards the goals. It's bouncing. How about that one, Duff? That was like a Murley Deren uh, off spinner. It went from left to right and uh, has popped that one through. We might have a look at that one again on the Mood Food replay. As we can see, it was through pace, breaking the lines, Duff. That was very creative footy. Yeah, just I think that might have been young Isaac Dixon getting the ball moving down there to Hodge. But you're right, it had to be this pass, had to hit the target. He got it to a teammate in better position across the ground. And it was just great play by Becker, wasn't he? Just ran onto it here. Now, Becker, if we were to watch that very closely, as I'm sure these kiddies will, Duff, he was in that passage of play from the back pocket. Right, and he just kept running. Yeah. Gee, that was good play. Gee, <coughs> that's play of the day for mine. Yep, absolutely agree, Duff. There's a lot we don't agree on, but we'll agree on that. And we also agree that uh, Springvale wines are some of the finest Tasmanian wines. I put it to you, finest wines on the planet. Uh, if you want a nice drop, uh, if you've got your steak out, Duff, and just that light red, uh, put that Pinot on, and I'll tell you what, that is just coupling up beautifully. Oh, great Tasmanian company. We love to push them, Duff, because uh, if they get behind the good old Duff TV, we'll get behind them. And it's great that they're, they're helping out young kiddies running around, staying Isaac, fit and healthy as Hodge keeps his eyes transfixed on the ball. 
and uh, he's going to go back. He's always looking to bring a teammate in, Duff, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, well, they call him the general down there at the Clarence Roos under 11s. You can see why. He's got he's got captain features written all over him, don't oh, you think? Oh, he has. Stay out, stay and there, out. look at the tackle by Mia Graham. I just think she'd be a terrible sister. Would she? Oh, Duff, as soon as you come out of your bedroom, oh, she'd she tackle you. <laughs> As soon as you go to get the, the wheat bix out, down in the kitchen, bang, gone, tackle you. <laughs> go up to get some seconds when you get the roast lamb, bang, gone, tackle you. <laughs> She's a machine. She is an absolute machine. As it comes in and it's close to the goal and through for the minor score. Just if we ever break at half-time, I wouldn't be walking near her. I reckon she'll bring you down to the turf. <laughs> so now, try a bunner. Well, Working they, their way forward. They that need was, to do, yeah, sorry. sorry, that's good. You go, Duff. Just back to the game. They need to lift here, try a bunner. They well, were asleep in the second quarter. It's been three goals in a row to the travelling Clarence Ruse. And I think uh, Daniel Archer would be very, very happy as my man, this is uh, young Dixon, sends them forward again. Yeah, Dixon there, but there's uh, a whole flotilla of Tribuna players, but unfortunately they don't get their hands on the ball as Chivers picks it up, and Chivers goes towards the goal. I think that might have just hit the post. I think that might have been uh, free, I think, Duff, and uh, three for the minor score. Yeah, of course, we've got young Mitchell Free and also uh, young Tunks coming over from Tribuna yeah, to Tunksy. make up the numbers. OK, so there is Alomes. Very, very long kick. That's the way to clear the defensive area. Kick it that far. There's a succession of handballs. And every time it goes to that handball, Duff, what they're doing very nicely, are the Roos, is getting it back into that corridor. Yeah. So they're attacking on the wings, and they uh, bring it back through the central corridor area and drive it hard, straight, and long. Yeah, because it's very hard to kick goals from those deep pockets here at Tribunner. <laughs> These are nice mark by young Turvey. Yeah, it was uh, Lynn who who pushed that ball out to him and they Drop teamed down, up very down, nicely down, now. Down, They're just sort of waiting on that ball just a little bit uh, too much, Duff, and that's what's giving Clarence just that a couple of millimetres, and that's all you need uh, with these Clarence boys. Yeah, just a little bit of spectating here by Tribunner at the moment. What do you mean by that spectating? Just sort of like waiting for somebody else maybe to do the hard work. <laughs> Got to get in there, Tribunner. Well, they'll do that as uh, Arnold uh, tries to stop that attack, but it goes out towards uh, Weston. Weston uh, gave it off and it came back back to him so he's good enough to butter up and get it again. Hodge is there. Hodge turns around. We know this is going to be a long raking kick. It goes over the back but here I tell you Duff, they are the best Dukes in under 11 football right there. Yeah, that's a great grab isn't it? He's got big hands. So nicely done. I think that was uh, Alomes again. Yeah it was Alomes. But it comes back out towards Cook. Cook has got plenty of the ball. Again, he just doesn't want to blast the ball away because you can see Alomes down there. And here he is as he picks it up and just roosts that one out. Don't wait on the ball, son. Get in and get it as uh, Desmond Pickett was there. Just a little bit of hesitation at the moment, Duff, as Bosworth kicks it for Clarence. Goes towards Hodge. Hodge does the team thing to bring it down. And buttering up now is Trier Bunner. Overrunning it allows Clarence to come back in through the agency of Becker. Becker and Hodge fighting very hard, trying to push it out. They're up against Turvey, and Turvey comes out with it, somehow prizes out from two ruse, gets it down towards the ring, but they just seem to have the answers at the moment, Duff. Yeah, trying really hard there was young Turvey, but uh, he needs a few players around him to lift. Uh, young Alone's down full back. He's lifted, but we need some more uh, tribunner players to get themselves involved in the contest here, Andrew. Certainly a good, good succession of uh, handballs. It ends up towards Chivers, oh, but line, uh, going it? back is Lyon again, and I love the way young line plays Duff. He's yep. very strong. Yep, yep, no. Very steady defender. Of course his dad, like we were saying, was a wonderful footballer back in his day. Who did he play with, Andrew? You don't know. Yeah, oh. no, very good footballer uh, Duff. No doubt about that. Has the ball. We'll just, in dispute. Just, just Google uh, Timmy Lyon. And he, he comes up, doesn't he, as a past great of the game. Pass great. Just said, let's have a look here now, Duff. Just tap there and it's out. There it is. There it is. Pass great. Yeah. Brilliant. It's all on Google these days. <laughs> Up they go. Oh, talking about the past. Here's your future. Young Lewis Lyon. He's a cracker of a player. Unfortunately, this one goes awry and Dixon is able to chip in and get it. Dixon pushes that down. Oh, oh look no. out. Falling over at the uh, incorrect time. And that one in the 10 metre square has hit the post stuff. Oh, it's great build up there again by the Roos. They've really been dangerous in this second quarter. It's been played all left of screen. 
And this young man, uh, Thomas Alomes, has been, well, he's had his work cut out, hasn't he, down at full back? Certainly has, just looking somewhere else to go, Duff. I like how he picks up the footy with one hand. Yeah, he's got the cooter footies about he's him, hasn't he? He's got the about him, hasn't he? He's got yeah, plenty big of time. Big, big dukes. We knew that from the way he marked the ball. Pushing out was Desmond Pickett. Uh, we need a lift from him. He was so good in, in that first quarter. I love the way he drifted forward and got that goal. As uh, There's a dispute on as uh, Nicholas Chivers at the, the bottom of the pack. And it's going to be a ball up. I think they'll be looking towards half-time at the moment. The Tribe Owner team just need to recollect their thoughts. Work out how they're going to get back into this match. Yeah, you'll get the old whiteboard, the magnets out, Duff. A little bit of strategy tactics just to calm them down. Oh, nice move. And that's well played by Alomes as well. Alomes boots it back, as you can see, into the centre of the ground. But they're playing some clever footy, at Clarence, just behind the ball, Duff, and then running it and teaming up. And instead of just sort of throwing it on the boot, they're always looking to, to pass it off to someone in a better position, as uh, Layla Arnold was fantastic. Excuse me, along half back, out towards Turvey. I like Turvey's work. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, only a, a little fella duff, but by gee, goes in as... Oh, here we go. Adam uh, William Free was there, and so now... Skeggsy, is it? Yes, yeah, Skeggsy. Skeggsy seen one oh, out by, that's this. Graham. Oh, Graham's an opportunity. Over. Watch it, she'll handball to you, so she can tackle you, be careful. And she gets a kick on that one. And now it, uh, the ball is in dispute as the Clarence picks it up. Comes back out now towards Bosworth. Bosworth's good enough to go back and pick that ball up yet again. Uh, Turvey. Look at him just the way he just chips in at all those contest stuff. Yeah, he does. And here he is. He was good enough to get the handball, but I think he, he mightn't have got the, the fist to it. And I think that's fair enough. It's got to be a free kick there to Clarence Ruse at uh, true centre-half back, back position. There's half-time. And the siren, <coughs> excuse me, has gone for half-time, Duff. I'll tell you what there, Andrew. At half-time, it's uh, 29 to 12. But there's another little fella out there. What do you notice about this bit of play here by the tribe owner player? The nice little shepherd just right there allowed Graham You're to get the kick away. The one percenters. Oh, yeah. That's great play there by little Ryan Castle. He's doing a mountain of work for the tribe owner team today. Well, it's half-time. Time for another break for us here at Duff TV. 29 to 12. They've got a little bit to think about, the Triabana boys and girls at the moment. And we'll be back here right after this break. Welcome back, Andrew. Yes, and uh, I think uh, we're in for a crackerjack third quarter, Martin. There is no doubt about that as uh, the ball has got underway, going out towards the half-forward flank. Now it's Tribunner picking that ball up. Sorry, Andrew, Next. on the wrong screen. That's the way, Duff. Now that's uh, beautiful work by Turvey. He doesn't matter what size opposition's in front of him, Duff. He's just so Watch dogged the way he just sort of goes in and under to collect the ball. The opportunity now if they pick that one up and trying to get it out. Well done by Bella Blythe. I like the way she's been working uh, hard. Lynn, uh, sorry, Line has been marked off that ball. That was uh, now opportunity. Look at the way Line has uh, run forward, Duff. That was yeah. really clever play. He sort of rolled the dice. Yeah, they come, they've come out after half time in here. They've had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a speaking to by the coach, uh, Johnny Alomes. And what did he say out there at half time, Andrew? You were down there. Yeah, very measured. Very measured? Oh, very measured. Quiet, but built it to a nice crescendo. Did he? Yeah, got it up. And I loved his eye contact. Did he? Yeah, yeah. gave the eye contact. Uh, specifically said, look, I like the way you're going about it. But uh, the first quarter intensity was good. We just dropped that off. We, we allowed Clarence to get to the ball first. And, and we moved in clusters. We didn't actually uh, go specifically to the person we're playing on. So let's don't all get hungry for the ball. Let's be, uh, let's be good when the ball isn't in our area. Let's make sure we man up. And it was very uh, good the way that uh, that was spoken about too, Duff. Well, they just look as though they've got a little bit more spark in their step here in the early stages of the Bozzy, third quarter. Bozzy, we need one back mm. in the square. Get someone back. And also, I popped over and had a little listen to Daniel Archer, and uh, Arch was more than happy with how things were going as we come back here towards Alomes picking that one up. Can't get it out and uh, has no prior. And have a look at the determination the there, Duff. We know Skeggsy's going to get in and under to try and get it. Uh, but uh, Archer was really thrilled the way they were looking for each other, prepared to run, to break the lines through their capacity to, to, to run and, and not blast away as uh, Turvey goes around, screws it over the shoulder, but uh, only 
uh, good enough to get through for the minor score. So uh, very entertaining. He was more than happy. He said, I need, I need that good work to continue in this championship quarter because he said... Triabunner, a very proud football uh, club, and we know they're, they're going to come hard. They're very fit. Oh, absolutely! Playing on their home deck with a big crowd, they're oh, going to come no. at us. Look at this! Oh, oh. I think that might have been young uh, Archer, was it? Turvey? Yep. Archer Turvey. Uh, look at the smile. Look at that, Duff. It's great to see, and uh, put that one through. He's a beauty. Absolute beauty. Archie Turvey. Well, here it was. The Clarence player was doing the right thing, looking for the best option, but it just wasn't the greatest of kicks. And little Turvey. I think ooh, that ooh, what that there, up. Bosworth was trying to find Frankham, and maybe, if we're to be fair, Frankham just uh, was a, just a tad flat-footed, didn't come to the ball, and didn't uh, Turvey just seize upon that? Just saw that he was stationary and decided to run round and pick it up. So, yeah. you know, that's hats off. Well played, and uh, they're really back in this game, Duff. Oh, they are. They're only, what, uh, 10 points down. They'd love the next one. You don't want to see Clarence go down and kick a goal. You don't want to go goal for goal when you're two or three goals well, down. Well, it depends, Duff. If you're Clarence, you'd love it. <laughs> of course. Oh, he's, he's danger. Oh, he well, Limes picks up. We know he can kick that ball a mile, and it's uh, bounced over the line. Uh, deep into Triabunner's attack. So we'll see if Clarence can uh, try and um, repel some of this pressure that is being placed upon them by Triabunner. And when the ball's around the big fella here alone, can't you just sense the crowd go, whoa? Well, you know, know something's, something's going to happen. Something's always going to happen. He's an excitement machine. Yes. So is this boy, young Dixon. Yeah, Dixon did a good job there to kick it out. So it was Dixon and going out there, that was uh, Tunks. Tunksy. Bit of friendly fire there, but he was really uh, going towards the ball as Arnold goes and picks that up. Arnold still going down the line. That's Lee Song. Lee Song gets it back in ball. This is... Oh, that might be a push in the back, I reckon, there, Duff. Went to go to the tackle, but got the, uh, the push straight in the middle of the back. You can see the handball was uh, forced out through good pressure there by Alliance. Look at this. Picked it up and... All but, all but trip, but just fell over the back. Yeah. Oh, let's hope it's not a medial ligament here, Duff. Oh, it could be a career-ending injury Oh, dear, here. oh, dear. The crowd's are very worried in the background because they know the importance of this player to the Triabunner team, but you know what's happened there? The umpire said, you've got a free kick, son, and he's oh, straight and up. And toward goal. Yes. A little bit ginger on the old knee, Duff, but have a look at this. He said, no, nah, come on, Dad. I'll take it. Let me have a crack at it. Yep. yep. Oh, great courage. So, Archie Turvey... Has the shot. Was it Archie or his brother? I'm not sure which one that was. Oh. They look alike. Oh, it anyway, might have been Ike, was it? I think it, it might have been Ike. <laughs> All right. Let's go with Turvey. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Yeah, it was. He's just missed there. Anyway, they're right. No, back you're in right, this Duff. It was Ike. Yep. Definitely was. Well done. And uh, unfortunately, couldn't quite put that one through as uh, Layla Arnold, though. She bustles her way forward. Oh, look at this. Try to give the day and argue. Goes the, the handball. That was uh, Liam Quinn. Yeah, old Quinny. But unfortunately for him, it didn't quite come off as Graham uh, was assisted by Tunks and they somehow managed to get that forward through Blythe and uh, Blythe has just put that one up to the side. But young Bella Blythe was very determined there, Duff, to crash her way forward. Six-minute mark of the third quarter. It's uh, Let's just have a look at the Jackson Motor Car Company scoreboard. It's uh, Clarence, 29. What have they got there, Duff? Four, four, four five. goals? Four, four five, five, is that yeah. right? Four, five yep. to, what, 3-3? Uh, three, three. Three, three, yep, 21. So right back in this contest, they're going to have a kick on goal here via Big Tunksy. Yeah, Tunks. Oh, look at that, Duff, just stretching out the legs, spinning the ball. Oh, he's looking into the sun here. This yep. is not an easy kick. Very Andrew. deliberate kick on goal. Up she goes, sailing towards the goals, but uh, not accurate. In out fact, I think she's gone off on the full, Duff. Yeah, I loved how the goal umpire there rushed over and got in the best position. He's doing a great job, that goal umpire down there. Yeah, thank you very much to our volunteers who come out week in, week out, as the ball was kicked towards Lee Song, and he couldn't quite bring that one in before it went over the line. And I think the umpire might be able to ball that one up. Nearly seven minutes gone They're in the third to run quarter. It out, but not so uh, we're really working hard now, Duff. 
Clarence are really soaking up some pressure here, aren't they? Because yep. it's been all try no, all but been... they just haven't been able to put the score on the board as yet. Here's a chance, two on to one. Alome's running out towards it. Uh, same as Skeggsy, but unfortunately uh, for them, the Roos were a bit more fleet of foot. Here's Lyon. Yeah, here comes Lyon. We know he's going to swiftly come back around and goes on that big left foot. Back there is uh, trying to sneak back and get a bit of space. Uh, at the back was our lines, but the ball's got to come there. I think there's been a bit of manhandling, Duff, yep, and it's going to be a free kick there. to the ruse. Yeah, no, that'll be just what Clarence Just off the needs. ball. Yep. Didn't see that one there, Andrew, but... Uh, yeah, no, i got a clear clear view. There so goes, now... There goes Evil Knievel on his motorbike in the background. Under a bit of pressure here, Clarence Ruse, but they're holding up. Oh, big fly, big contest. Young Turvey's got the ball. Yeah, Archie Turvey. Goes forward, here comes Alomes. We know this isn't a very far distance for him as Tunks now picks it up. Tunks goes forward and he's going to go again, I think, Tunks. Tunks picks it up. Can he go the handball? No, he tries to screw it around. And he has kicked that one, Duff. Over the left shoulder. What about that from Tunks? Oh. Let's have another look at that one. You can, hey, he's pretty, tell you what, he's pretty happy with himself, oh, Duff. You wait till you see the celebration in the replay, Andrew. Okay. What's this? Talk about pressure. But this is the second. Well, there's effort. one effort from Tunks. He goes back and gets it again. Pushes one aside. Barges the way forward. And look at the accuracy there, Duff. Straight through the middle. Well played, Tunks. <laughs> oh, just about to goal of the season. Gee whiz, that's uh, really tightened it up now, Duff. Mm, 4 3 27. I don't think Clarence has scored this quarter. No, it has been all try, Bunner. I'm looking down at Daniel Archer here just to the right of me. He's looking very worried, but here oh. goes the Clarence Ruse. Here's Cook. Cook has four around and doesn't get the handball to anyone in particular, but uh, there you go. There's the tackling machine that is Mia Graham. Now, Clarence. Can't do so, but Desmond Pickett, as uh, Pickett gets out to the teammate, there's young Quinn trying to push their way through, handball over the top, well played by Cook again, they've got the numbers, they just need to spread a little bit here, Duff, if they can get the ball, as Lee Song was good enough to go back around and get it, and coming out taking a very, very nice mark, I think that might be, is that... Uh, Let's have a could look be, here. Could be Harvey, That's yeah. Harvey Alones. Yeah. It yeah. is Harvey Alones. He's going to be playing in the third and fourth quarter for the Ruse, Clarence Ruse. Oh, geez, teammates, look at this. They're trying to put him off. Oh, oh the that's big fly. a big, big fly from. Uh, uh, that's Archie Sealy. Couldn't quite uh, get the Dukes fully on it. As uh, all look at you're under pressure, son. That was Turvey yes. playing either down front or down back. Just likes to take the game on, Duff. Oh, he plays all over the field, this young Turvey. As Clarence would love a goal, just heading in towards three quarter time. Just to settle the nerves a bit because Try Bunham really come at them with those couple of goals in this third quarter. And that's a nice kick. And a nice mark. Who we got here? We got uh, Young Dixon. Yes. So Isaac Dixon now lining it up. Dixon, left footer. Gee, that's a good-looking kick. That's a ripping kick. So they've only been inside their 50 a couple of times, Duff. And uh, Isaac Dixon has put a dagger through the heart of the very determined try bunner. They've had all the, the attack, but that's what good teams do, Duff. Yeah. Get it down there and uh, efficiency. It was great play. He realised he was a little bit too far out. And he's seen Dixon over there. He just did the little quick lead. He just pointed to some space, took the mark, and then he didn't he make this look easy. That's what I class, liked about that he, lead, Duff, a class act. he created space in front of himself, uh, did Dixon. Dixon went back towards the goal to take his defender with him and then all of a sudden pushed off and led out into that space that he created. So that yep. was very smart football, yep. uh, deep into the third quarter. So uh, Clarence 35, Tribuna 27, and uh, brimming with confidence after that last goal here. Here goes Clarence through Noah Lee Song, goes towards that boundary line. A nice pick up again and a kick, very effective by Archer. Well played by young Sebastian Archer, who's really been uh, pretty good all day. And here's a very nice mark duck, duck by Noah Lee Song. Yeah, just coming back into the game is young Lee Song. Gets it towards uh, centre half forward. Look at the numbers and pushing their way through with the. Dixon again. Yes, it is. And uh, look at the pressure going to be applied here because that's Harvey Alomes who's picked that one up. Oh. Harvey Alomes goes the bounce, <laughs> tries to push it round, and his teammates are really holding him up there as it's a kick. Oh, just touched on the line like a goalkeeper in the World Cup there, Duff. And uh, that was. 
clever play by Clarence to get it across. I think that was Sebastian Archer, but just touched been. on the line by Tri Bunner. What an entertaining match this has been, Andrew. It's got a really good feel about it. Some great players out there. Two gun coaches. Uh, football's in great shape in Southern Tasmania. Yeah, it is. Um, and uh, Johnny Alomes would have to be thrilled by the intent on this third quarter. Just haven't had the finesse to finish off all the good work that they've done, Duff. Yeah, you would like to have seen another one or two goals because Clarence will be kicking with that little breeze in the final quarter as here goes young Turvey. Archie Turvey goes towards the true wing position. Layla Arnold, who uh, goes up to try and take that one, can't quite bring it in, and so it's going to be a ball up. Getting uh, close towards the end of this third quarter. It is your Clarence Ruse, uh, coached by Daniel Archer, who have a lead here, Duff, by nine points. Well picked up, or oh, maybe a little bit too high on that particular occasion. Lincoln Pierce just uh, put that uh, duke up and got a little bit too high on the Clarence player. And I think that might have been Sealy. Sealy yeah. now turns. Sealy driving it forward. Oh, oh Alomes has been very, very good for Clarence in this third quarter, nice, hasn't he? Nice recruit, isn't he? Been very good as Hodge. Hodge who's gone down forward trying to keep that ball in. Oh, Hodge was very, very clever. Surely not from that tight angle. It goes across the face of goal, but uh, waiting and uh, on that one there, Duff, was excellent play by Sebastian Archer. Goes back and Hodge has taken a very, very strong mark. Uh, the second go at it here, Hodge. Okay, Lukey Hodge. You can see what's in front of him. Goes, oh, that's oh, a lovely nice. kick. That is a terrific kick uh, by Hodge. They're never easy, 45 degree angle. The 45's on the wrong side though, Duff. That's not an easy kick. And well done by Hodge, who really stabbed at the ball, keeping it hard and low, so none of the uh, uh, effects of any weather would take hold. And we can see here that Hodge created a bit of space for himself, and he really owned that space uh, in the ball drop area, didn't he, Duff? Certainly did. The big frame came out, took the mark. He's had a quiet third quarter, but just oh. getting a couple of kicks laid here in the term. And... They've steadied the ship here, the Clarence Roos. Yeah, what was ha a dominant uh, performance by Triabana for the majority of the quarter, but just fantastic finishing by the visitors who have uh, capped them off with a couple of goals. And I'll tell you what, Duff, wouldn't they love to go one further? This is Gee. fantastic play by them as it's now going down and taking the mark is Sebastian Archer again. Oh, he's really come into the game, hasn't he? Here he goes, Archer, looking for one of his teammates. Of course, why wouldn't look for Hodge? Might have been uh, pinned, I think, there, Duff, for a bit of a push as Desmond Pickett was pushed underneath the ball. Yeah, and quite rightly, he's going to take the free kick. Well, there's your siren, Duff, for uh, three-quarter time. And in that quarter, it was in the late that Clarence were able to get those last couple of goals. Mm, now, they've slightly won the quarter there, Tribe, aren't it? And they've got a bit of good spirit about them as they go back to uh, the huddle at three-quarter time. But uh, a whole couple of injuries out there to the Tribunner boys. It's going to be tough from here. But they're only 15 points down. You can see here, Duff, the coaches just giving their final instructions. There's Johnny. That's Johnny Alomes, who's uh, just, as I said before, Duff, he was uh, absolutely thrilled at half time in their intent, endeavour on how they were going about it. And uh, here he is just really trying to get his charges up for a big finish in this last quarter. As we come out here, and there's the old scoreboard, Andrew. It says there, 6-5, 41-4-3, 27. Maybe we're a point out, so we might just adjust that in the moment. Uh, but, uh, of course, thanks, thanks to all our sponsors, Jackson Motor Company, Mood Food, Bennett's Petroleum, and, of course, Springvale Wines up here today for uh, sponsoring the Tribuna team as the fourth quarter is about to recommence here. All right, the umpire holds it aloft. I think Lyon might go into the ruck here, Duff, and I don't mind that. He's a little bit short, but have a look at him. He almost plays like a ruck rover. He went the tap and almost, and he went straight down to try and pick up an effect, uh, and a forward thrust for try a bunner. They do so. They've actually, I think, moved a few bigger bodies into the middle. I'd, I'd, I'd like to uh, get young Mia Graham in there. She's certainly one that uh, won't shirk the issue. Uh, similarly, and you can see there, Jasmine Pike has been moved in as well, Duff, and I think that's a very good move. So now, 
Now Ali Song was good enough for Clarence to get that one out. And what they've done all day, Duff, is tried to find each other with their handballs as Chivers was able to just sort of push that one on his left boot. Running pretty hard towards this Georgie Lee Song. But can't get that through as they're very uh, resolute across the half back line, uh, Triabunna. It's uh, quite important, really, that uh, Triabunna can hold them in this forward thrust as they go forward. There's a very heavy knock there, Duff. Just making sure that this young lady is okay, because is that, is that my girl Mia? Their heads clashed, so. I think their heads clashed. Yeah, gee. And this is very wise, Duff, just to have a bit of a spell, because Thomas Alomes was uh, coming out, and I think they just had a bit of a collide there. It's unfortunate. It does happen in Aussie rules when well, both players are going for the ball, and your intent is just to go for the ball, and, and the head clash happens, unfortunately. But uh, she, she looks as though she's going to be okay, Andrew. I think that's prudent, though, Duff, just to have a bit of a spell in Definitely. this quarter. Yep. No doubt about that. As well done by Layla Arnold, tries to go back to one of her teammates, was in a, a better spot. But it's Clarence that pick it up. And Clarence go very, very direct route home towards Sebastian Archer. He's fighting very hard to try and keep that one. He's assisted by Becker. He's a good athlete, this young number 50, isn't he? Oh, he goes well as Tunks is back there. They've got some good, solid players have uh, Triabunna. Fantastic uh, marking capacity. and But they've just got to probably be a little bit direct to them. But one of their key forwards now, you can see here, Duff about to kick it in. So Oh, yeah. So that's Thomas Alomes, who uh, just goes very direct. Nice long kick. Tunksy. Here he is. What a goal that was in the third quarter. Just about the best goal I've seen all year. And it's great to see that uh, Supercoach Alomes is going to move him around a bit too, Duff. Mm. So That's I think that was just a little bit too high, that one, by Mia Graham. And it's going to be a free kick paid to Archie Sealy. Sealy goes forward. Gee whiz, that was a big pack that had formed. Handballs further afield, and that's trying to kick that one around the body with Scotty Weston. Can't do so, but a very clever effort by him. And it sees another behind added to the Clarence total. She is Alomes. He's gone the big barrel there. He has gone the barrel. Maybe might be prudent enough to try and spot up a teammate if you can. Yes. <laughs> on that particular occasion. But uh, here goes oh, Hodge. Hodge. Hodge and oh. <laughs> there she is, Duff. There she is, Mia Graham. In fact, I'd say <laughs> Mia Graham is the best tackler at under 11 I've ever seen. Yep. She's Bar none. Yeah. She's a beauty. She is a very, very good tackler. And talking of tacklers, that was Layla Arnold uh, really working her way forward. She's been good stead. And, of course, there is uh, a great pathway for all the young girls down here in Tasmania Dow, isn't it, Duff? In oh, that yeah. They can go all the way into the AFLW. No, that's wonderful. We've got all these teams that are popping up everywhere out in the community. And then, of course, AFL Taz is doing a wonderful job with their program, the Devils, uh, for under what, under 12 girls, I think, under 15 state team, under 16, under 18. Oh, if you're good enough, you can go the whole way, Andrew. Yep, fantastic. And that's it's unfortunate, Duff, that wasn't there for you because I know you were an absolute uh, schoolboy prodigy for Warren Grammar. <laughs> and if you would have had that lineage, you could have gone all the way as well. Uh, I was a little bit soft, though, Andrew, as a footballer. Good yep. skills, but a bit soft. Yeah, I know. They used to call you Martin Blamange Duffy. Yeah, you need to be tough. Yes. Bit of advice from Hodge as uh, Sealy goes back to have that shot. Sealy looks accurate but didn't quite have the distance. And Alomes at the back takes the mark but uh, decides to play on. Turvey. Yes, Arch in the back is Ikey Turvey. Gets it further if you think that might have been Line. I think it was young Line. He's had a big match for the uh, tri Yeah, today. Line's been fantastic. I agree with you there, Duff, as Lee Song uh, pushes that one around. But marking that one is, is Burkhart. Yeah. Young Burgard with that beautiful left foot that he's got, Andrew. They're just trying to get some drive from centre-half back. It's a good move by the coach to get him down there in defence. This time it was Noah Lee Song who was good enough to take that mark. Lee Song gets the ball forward again. Going up was Quinn. 
So they've decided to bring the ball back into the corridor. Shortest way home, but it's dangerous because Clarence have the numbers. And the first one to get to the ball is Bosworth. He is beset upon by uh, all the defenders coming out at him. But good enough to get the handball across. Excellent work there by Dixon. Dixon drives it forward. Alones goes up with the one Duke. Couldn't bring that one in this occasion. <laughs> goes towards the side. Remind me, at the, as the arm went up, Duff, it was like one of those... Uh, documentaries from uh, Animal Planet when you see the, the bears swipe their hands at the salmon climbing oh, up. Yes. As Alomes That's just right. put the big paw out to try and <laughs> clunk it. <laughs> yeah. oh, you watch a lot of docos, don't you, on Netflix? Oh, no. Love that. Love your Animal Planet, Duff. As picking that ball up was Layla Arnold. Arnold goes back indoor, but uh, they need someone to spark here. They do. It's just sort of floundering slightly, yeah, Duff. They uh, need a goal and they need it quick. They'd be happy with this at the moment, the Clarence boys and girls. Absolutely. As well done there by the Clarence offensive area as they drive that ball forward. Comes back into this danger area of uncertainty as uh, Turvey is there. Uh, he's beaten to the ball this particular time and uh, Alomes gets the big tackle there, Duff, as Archie Sealy had nowhere to go and you can hear what the umpire said. There was no prior, mm. so he's going to ball that one up. It's been pretty good, this umpire. The umpire blew it. Very, very good. It's his second game he's done well, it. Right. He's warmed up, Duff. Oh, he's fit, isn't he? Oh, so he, he looks like an athlete. He does. Got a great aerobic capacity, this gentleman. Yep. He could probably go all the way to AFL, Duff. Oh, settle down. Okay. Good tap out there. That was uh, Pickett. Alomes gets it. We know Alomes will go the barrel. Oh. But uh, they're a wake-up to that, Duff, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's just the one part of his game that it can improve a little bit. He's a great kick. He's a great uh, mark, great team player. But just needs to look up and find a, a teammate a little bit more often. Who yes. we got, Young Dixon, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, from the row bottom kick, it goes right into a square. But have a look here at the marking capabilities of this man. Oh. He uh, plucks that one and is trying to repel another forward thrust from the Clarence Ruse. That's better. Yeah, that was a nice kick, Duff. It was the traditional drop punt to one of the leading players. Here is Clarence. They get it back indoors. That's Weston. Weston gets it to that area of absolute uncertainty, but look out. Lyon picks it up. Lyon kicks the ball out to the half-back flank. Chipping in his Chivers. Chivers goes in, just going over the top, that one. Leading out was uh, Sealy, and it comes back to the defenders, and they are fantastic as they get it out. Here's a man who know he can run Duff. Ike Turvey. Turvey. He gets it, and now have a look at him go. He puts it under the arm and kicks it. That's great from the young man who's playing up a couple of divisions, who's yeah. an under-nine player, Duff. Yeah, no, isn't it great to see? No, it's great. He's come up and made up the numbers here, and he's a good little footballer, isn't he? Oh, the future's bright here at Tribunna, Duff. Oh, that's great. No doubt about that. Good numbers in the junior ranks. It's just a matter of nurturing him to the next level so they can continue on their merry way. And we saw the Oz kick earlier being run by... I'm sorry, I can't remember the young couple that were doing it. By golly, Andrew, you should have seen him out there. It was about 9.30 in the morning. It was cold, but they were just amazing. They had all the little four and five and six-year-olds in the Oz kick, and so the numbers are very good up here at Tribunna. Yep. So that was... Uh, just overrunning it with Skeggs, but Turvey goes back in. Hotly pursued by Alomes. Now picking it up, but it's never going to get out of there, Duff. That's a nice tackle. And unfortunately, the lad uh, from Triabunna had nowhere to go, and that was uh, Mitchell Free. And quite rightly, the umpire says they have to ball up. Yep, they'd be pretty happy, uh, Clarence, holding on to this lead at the moment. 16 points. And, uh, oh, they're going to have another kick on goal here. Oh, this could really drive the nail into the, the said tribe on a coffin duff. Let's have a look. Lining it up. Kicks. Oh, just goes off to the side and through for the minor score. Did it scrape in, Duff? It did. Just behind there. Just behind. So just a little bit inaccurate as we're easing into the... The last third of this quarter, 15-minute quarters. All going forward up here, Andrew, the football. It's all in very good hands. Got the new club rooms there over in the background there. Yep. All been refurbished. And uh, it's all good for football in Tasmania. Well, the whole community here in Triabunna Duff looks good. We, we had yeah. a bit of a drive around early and yeah. went to the Spring Bay Hotel and had a wander around there and down the port. Mm. Had, some, uh, had some fish and chips available there. The ships were going out to... 
Mariah Island. It was a hive of activity, plenty of tourists around. Um, yeah, noted about that. It's, it's a very, very pretty spot here at Tribuna. So the ball's kicked in. Going for the safety of that boundary line as Sealy, bit of a jack in the box, is up. Comes out towards Turvey. Turvey, we know, is going to try and arch the back. Touches the ball down, is smothered. That was good defensive work by the uh, forwards. Nice work there by Clarence to try and get that extra shot on goal by Archer. Gee, these Turvey boys, don't they go well? The Turveys are very, very fleet-footed uh, players, aren't they, Duff? Do you think they kick the ball to each other in the, oh, in the backyard or in the hallway? I, I reckon they're, they're hallway, and then they probably, <laughs> mum and dad, get sick of the thumping, and then they get them outside and they get them up in the back paddock. <laughs> and I reckon that's where they've got their pace from. Because uh, I think they've got greyhounds as well, Duff. Get that and, ball out of here. Yeah, yeah and they take Plenty it out the that. back and let the greyhounds go, and they chase them up the top paddock. <laughs> I reckon that's no, what goes on. Enjoyed their footy in both of these games oh, they're today, fantastic. Aren't they? So, there's a player down and just quite wisely we've decided to just wait up a minute to make sure everyone's okay. Yeah, and I like that, Duff. Young, young Cullen there just took a knock. All right, so it goes, uh, goes forward again now as Dixon showed really clean hands to pick that up nice and easily. Gets the handball out to Bosworth. But the umpire said, I don't think you actually handballed that one, son. Uh, it was a good tackle by Tribuna, and they're going to be rewarded for that tackle, Duff. So now, good handball, further afield by Archer, getting plenty of the ball, Turvey picking it up. Oh, because the big don't argue as uh, Lukey Hodge put him on his bottom, but it's Lyon who picks it up. Lyon goes directly. Terrific tackling there by Layla Arnold. And he goes out as far as Lee Song, and Lee Song decides to drive that ball further back into attack again. Uh, they're applying plenty of pressure and asking plenty of questions of Tribuna here, Duff. No, they certainly are. Ooh, that's going to be a kick on Dixon there, just in the back there by Mia Graham. And, uh, Mia Graham. A little bit too, too exuberant that time. Yep. So, uh, young Dixon is rightly so. He's going to go back and try and slot this one. Just about has been BOG for me. I so, love his game. Isaac Dixon here, Duff. Taking the time. Very deliberate. Is a left footer. It's going to be right on the, the line. And it's go through oh, for a oh. goal, Duff. I think that might have uh, been Hodge who ended up getting that goal. Let's have a look on the Mood Food replay to see if uh, what's happened here. It's going close. Hasn't gone through, I don't think. Bounces back. And Hodge has been rewarded for that one, Duff. It bounced back down. <coughs> and it's almost just bounced up into his lap. And young Hodgie has put that one through for a goal to the ruse. Well, he's had a good game as Hodgie. Deserves that goal. Is that his first or second? Second. Second goal. That's right. He kicked one in the third quarter. And so the Sting's gone out of the match now. It's only four goals, but they've been in control in this last quarter of the Clarence Roos. They certainly have. The Roos go down, bend down to try and pick it up again. Good strong tackle by Layla Arnold. She can't uh, bring it in, and it's going to be another ball up. They've played in bursts, haven't they, uh, the tri yes, boys and girls? Yes, it's a fair, fair assumption, Duff. When they're on, they're very, very good. They've looked dangerous, haven't they? they? Very dangerous, but Clarence have just been a little bit more consistent. They're probably a little bit quiet in that third quarter clearance but uh, really set it up I think in the second quarter in this game yeah uh, Tribuna when they when they were, were forward Duff they got a couple of goals but maybe didn't get quite enough for all the great effort and forward thrust that they had yeah um, Mia Graham she's gone back in to get it again I love the way she oh, plays she is such a determined footballer she's a, a real crowd favourite isn't she oh she is every time yeah there's a few people like you say everyone sits forward on their chair when she goes near the yeah. ball because they know something's going to happen. Good tap out by her. She's still going in for our second efforts. Lions there. He, he's been terrific, Duff. Yeah, no, he's had a lot of possession and almost usually does something with it. And uh, little Skeggsy just says, hang on a second. Oh, look at Skeggs try and play on. Goes the go. bounce. Skeggsy with a beautiful pass. Goes out further afield towards Pike. Pike. Just pushes that one around. They're just trying to move the ball forward at all costs. But the siren's gone here, Duff. She's all over. 
And it's a victory for the Clarence Roosers. It's great to see the combatants come together, Duff, and wish each other well. Uh, goal kickers, Luke Hodge got a couple. Frankham, Dixon, Cook, Bosworth, well and Becker. And for Tribunner, Turvey, Skeggs, Pickett and Tunks. Great match there. Great call too, Andrew. Really enjoyed that. And here goes the Clarence boys with their song. Well, there we are. Thanks to our sponsors, Springvale Wines, for their contribution. And thank you to you, Andrew, for coming up here today for this big match. Oh, it's been great. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage. That's all from Duff TV now, and we'll see you next time at another venue.